Hi everyone, Ginger here. This is um, day round 10, I think. I'm starting to lose track. Um, so like I said in my last video, the good news is uh, the PATH report is benign, so I can be happy about that. Um, and I mentioned having this aroma drained. Well, the update is within 24 hours, it had filled and was bigger than it was before. And that's me not doing anything special, just resting and doing all the things that I mentioned that were good for recovery. So um, that means the next step was a drain. So now I have a drain um, that was put in yesterday. And on uh, the first drain, 100 cc's or so uh, were taken out. And then yesterday, after the drain was put in, um, nearly 150 cc's um, drained out. So we will see what happens. I am rapidly shifting my schedule, thinking I was going to be full blast back into work. Um, that shows you, you know, we make plans and then... Um, Mother Nature uh, takes its course, and we have to do something different. So I'm I'm adapting, and that's something that you know, as a as a yogi, is is easy to do is to to be adaptable and flexible. But what is hard for me to do is to take a break. I it is hard to just sit and rest, and to do just the minimal therapy of of moving the arm. Now that the drain is here and it's you know underneath my arm and stitched in. There's not a whole lot you can really do. You're really limited. So that's the struggle for me. Um, I have been on the move my entire life. So just coming to a standstill is hard. Um, other surgeries I've had, there are things to do. There's plenty of therapy that I could do. Like when I had my hip arthroscopy done. There's a lot to be done, you know. And... I could at least still work and be on the computer, um, but I have to limit all of that. And there's not a whole lot that I can do, but to sit and rest and do all the things that I'm supposed to do to recover, you know, stay hydrated, eat well, get my protein, get some vitamin C, all those things that we know from a lifestyle medicine perspective are important. And speaking of lifestyle medicine, Sleep is hard right now because anytime you move that, you know, that open incision that's stitched with the drain in it speaks and sometimes it speaks louder than other times. So sleep is hard. I am using a wedge from my office, like a physical therapy little wedge that you use in massage therapy too to prop myself up because it is hard to lay completely supine, completely flat. And hopefully that will improve as the days go by. That's what I'm hoping because without sleep, we really can't heal. So sleep is my priority. Rest and eating well and managing stress are my priority. And giving myself what will probably have to be another week off of work. Um, maybe even longer because the drain may have to stay in for more than a week. Um, the goal for those of you out there who may be just learning about seromas or struggling with one yourself. Um, the clinical you know, objective point for removing the drain is 20 cc's or less for three days in a row. And I'm definitely not there yet. It's uh, just now coming up on noon on the second day of the drain and I have like 25 cc's already. I haven't looked at it lately, so you know, there may be more. But um, I, won't lie and say that it's easy to be positive because um, when you're self-employed and you're mom of three and it's a pandemic, there's stuff to be done. It's not doing itself. And we all need to be out there working right now. Nobody needs another two, three weeks of missed work when there's deadlines to, to happen and to, you know, that are happening and things to, to get out. But in the big scheme of things, I have to remind myself. And so I'm Encouraging you to, this is a blip on the radar. 
and you'll get through it if you do all the things you're supposed to do, right? So follow those lifestyle medicine pieces and um, sleep, good sleep, good stress management, good nutrition, a little bit of movement, <laughs> um, and then minimizing that environmental load, any kind of toxins or anything that you could be exposed to, which includes things like house cleaners. You know, it's a little bit hard to breathe right now. So I want to make sure that uh, I am working on that. So you'll get breathing and, and the stuff that I've done in you know in previous videos can't really range this arm like I was now. Uh, so I'm just taking it easy. And it'll be a blip on the radar and I will get through it. And I encourage you um, in the same way. It's hard, but you'll be stronger and more resilient afterwards. So we have that to look forward to. Okay, that's all for now. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.